G'day, I'm Wally, Dan Wallwork. Um, we're in Wallwork Studios here at the Art House. Um, new in production mo at the moment, making my new show for the Cairns Regional Gallery. It's called Featherweight, and I've got a show at the end of April on the 29th at um, Cairns Regional Gallery. So, Featherweight is what it is, and today you're going to see me making some of these little babies and um, finishing off one of my bigger ones. Talk to you soon. Okay, sports fans, here we are. We're up to the grinding phase. I've carved my feather. I've got the first layer of fiberglass, and we're going to have a bit of a play with our little nine inch grinder here and trim it up. Six inch grinder. Okay, so we've got our feather. I'm just going to have to trim up the edges so it's nice, and then trim up the back so then I can lay fiberglass on the back of our double happiness feather here. So, industry time. Alright, so we've got the uh, the double feather ready now as I was preparing earlier with the grinder. So what we're about to do is fiberglass it and um, it's going to end up pretty much looking like this when it's, when it's fiberglassed. This one's ready to take to the next phase. So um, it's been double fiberglassed on both sides. It's pretty much like a feather surfboard. You can pretty much surf on this one. And this one here has been sanded and it's ready to go to the next phase of being in primer and then taken to colour. So. Sort of the steps we're going through to get these feathers in shape for their exhibition. By the time you finish, you won't see any of these surfaces or underneath areas. It'll all be in high gloss paint and look really beautiful. So what we're using is urethane foam and fiberglass. It's a highly toxic. Nice and fun though. Here we're just adding the chemical additives, the catalyst, to set the resin off. So we put the resin all over the fiberglass and it'll harden and give us the desired result. So it's quite a science to it all. I don't get too precious with it. Make sure it's well stirred so all the hardener goes in. Otherwise you'll have soft and hard parts in your mix. We don't want that folks. So all we want to do is we're going to soak the foam with the resin first, get it all prepared and ready to take the fiberglass on top. Which is a glass that's been spun into a material, basically. So this is very much the same technique that they use for surfboards, um, eskies and boat buildings and things like that. Um, you could be well more onto it and wear masks and stuff. This is a reasonably ventilated studio, so we're not too bad in here today. Alright, so here's our fiberglass. So you can see it's actually fiber, it's all you know, soft cloth. So I've already cut it and shaped it to the surface and I've marked it. So Right, so I'm just trying to even it out and get it on there now and because we have a real reasonably quick time limit with this stuff. It's got lots of chemical hardener in it and it's gonna go off fast in the heat, so just go go and get it on, get the first layer nice and then it should reasonably fall into place. 
twice after like a one goes on. Alright Outhouse fans, here's the feather finished for today's effort, fiberglassed and trimmed. So this was the back that you saw in foam earlier, so uh, this is one of the sculptures for uh, Featherweight, my show at the Cairns Regional Gallery at the end of uh, April, and um, stay tuned next episode to see how this one's evolved and the rest of them. See you then.